hello welcome back to my channel please subscribe to my channel and like my videos and watch other videos on my channel as well so the last update about twist of fate grandma knows the truth about Rhea and threatens to expose her and grandma sent Prachi to Bangalore with Rambro and Rhea so that Rhea will not be able to execute her plan let's continue Prachi tells Rambro that she is coming to Bangalore with him Rambro asks her not to joke with him and says it is a sensitive topic for me Prachi says, I'm really going with you. He asks if the ticket are done. She says, yes. He says that this is my life's good surprise. And he thanks her. He gets happy and hugs her. Rambro says, I love you. She says, I love you too. And asks him to tell if he needs help. Rambro says, I will discuss with Sidat and do the work. And asks her to do the packing. Prachi says, yes. Rambro asks Prachi happily. Sushma and Pragya comes to grandma and asks that what is she writing on the board. Grandma says that she is writing about Pragya's victory. She says she wrote that Tanu couldn't take Abi away from here and Pragya stopped Abi from drinking a day. Sushma asks, what is this third one? Grandma says she taught them a lesson, making them work. Pragya says it was necessary to teach them a lesson and here only I can rule. Sushma asks if they used to do work in the child house. Grandma says Mitali used to do cooking and Abi used to bring the stuff. Sushma asks what Alia and Tanu used to do. Grandma says they used to fetch water from outside, but since few days, I was the one fetching water. Pragya asks why. Grandma says so that I can maintain peace in the house. Tanu hears them and comes to Alia and says that Grandma is with Pragya. Alia says Grandma is always with Pragya. Tanu says Grandma is on Pragya's side and badmouthing about us. Alia asks her not to say this about Grandma. Tanu says Grandma is ditching us. We have taken care of her so well and she is ditching us. Alia says grandma was never with us. If she had any other option, then she wouldn't have even stayed with us. Tanu says then why did she not say? Alia says for my brother. Tanu says that Pragya did not give any work to grandma. Alia says it is not in Pragya's values that she will make grandma do the work. Tanu says that grandma was writing on the slate about Pragya's achievement. Alia says I shall tell you about my work and says that Pragya has not done any big work and says that even we used to work. Alia says that Pragya is thinking that she is winning from us, but the opposite thing is happening, and says I will alter power, her money, and her business. She says tomorrow, Pragya will lose the tender to Gaurav Tapa. She says let Pragya take one run on each ball, and says that she will eat six her ultimately. Shaina tells Palavi that she was not having Ria's number, else she would have invited them. Ria is thinking about Prachi, and she thinks that she will go with me as extra baggage, and has come between Rambu and me. She slips and falls down. Shaina thinks that Rhea fell down on the same place where she has spilled the oil for Prachi. Palavi and Shaina help her get up. Palavi asks her, are you okay? Shaina says Rhea fell down where the oil was falling. Grandma says Prachi had cleaned the floor. Palavi says Prachi knew that Rhea has to go upstairs and bring her stuff. Then why didn't she clean the floor properly? Rhea says Prachi wanted me to fall down. Grandma asks why Prachi would do this. She is your sister. Rhea says I did not feel much pain by falling, but felt much pain knowing the reason. She says, Grandma, you always support Prachi. It was my trip. I was going to my friend's marriage. And moreover, I was going to meet Sidat, my husband. Rhea says I cannot go alone. I never said that Rambu shall come with me. Palavi asks why did you want to say? Rhea says since you asked Prachi that Rambu shall go with me, something happened between Rambu and Prachi that she got ready to come with me. Grandma says I asked her to go with you. Shaina says someone makes her take some decision. Grandma asks her not to interfere in their family matters being a guest. Palavi shouted Prachi. Grandma asks her to calm down. Prachi tells Rambu that mommy is calling me. Rambu says she seems to be angry. Don't go. Prachi says she will get more angry. I have to go. Rhea says if there was something, then she would have talked to me. Why did she do this with me? Palavi asks if something happened between you both. Rhea says I feel that Prachi is living in her past and she still feels that whatever was between Rambu and me is still there. Rhea says Prachi doubts me and thinks that I have something for Rambu in my heart. Grandma says if this would have been the truth, then she wouldn't have let Rambu go with you. Rhea says Prachi was acting to be matured and sorted and she doesn't care if Rambu comes with me. Rhea says then Prachi said that she has no problem, but she told Grandma that she wants to go with Rambro. Grandma asks Rhea why she is making false stories 
and says the house breaks with these talks. Ria says the house doesn't break with such talks and asks, do you trust me about Rambro? Palavi asks Grandma to tell if she trusts Ria. Ria says she would apologize to her if she says once that she trusts her. She sees Prachi coming and pretends to be feeling pain. Palavi claps and says your plan worked, Prachi. You don't want Ria to go with Rambro to Bangalore. You got successful. Prachi and Rambro look at each other. Sushma asks Pragya what is she thinking. Grandma asks her to think with calm mind how to change Abby. Pragya says I was told that he started drinking as I was away from him. But why is he drinking now? Grandma says he is habitual to drinking now. Sushma says maybe he wants to trouble you. Pragya says now I understand that he is habitual and shows that he drinks to trouble me. She says she has to make him accept. Sushma says he drank as he went out yesterday. Grandma says you did not do right going in the night. She says Sushma will make you change for better. Pragya says she is my mother and has the right on me. Grandma says Pragya might have thought something. Pragya says she must bring something in his life which is more dear to him than his life. That is music. Rambro asks what happened. Palavi asks Ria to tell him the truth so that even he believes. She asks her not to hesitate to say the truth. Palavi says I will say it. Palavi says Prachi did not want Ria to go to Bangalore and that is why she did not clean the floor properly so that Ria falls down and get hot and her plan gets cancelled. She says so that you both can go for a holiday away from family and responsibilities. Prachi says you are thinking wrong. Palavi says I am seeing this. You don't trust Ria about Rambro and you doubt her. Prachi says this is wrong. I trust her. Palavi says you don't trust your sister or your marriage. You cannot leave your husband alone with your sister even for a moment. You did this as you cannot tell this directly. Rambro says there is nothing like that and says Prachi told me that Ria is changed and asks why Prachi would do this. Palavi says Prachi wants to be in everyone's good books. She says Prachi pretends and tries to play opposite. She says whatever you have done with your sister is very wrong. Shaina says getting possessive about husband is okay but scheming is bad. She says she used to do all this with Ria in the college, but now you are a wife and a daughter-in-law. Prachi says, Shaina, please you shall not interfere. I am not your friend here. I am someone's wife, a daughter-in-law and a sister here. Shaina says, you don't need to tell me what I shall do and says, I don't have any hard feelings for Ria. She says, I have realized that Ria is changed and she has become matured and that is why I asked Rambu to take her to Bangalore. Shaina says, yes, but you get your ticket done. Nice move. Shaina says you have set good impression of a good sister and also did duty of a insecure wife by not sending your husband and your sister together. Prachi says you are crossing your limit. Palavi says telling the truth is not crossing the limit. Grandma says Prachi is right. Shaina has no right to interfere in her family matters. Palavi says I did not stop Shaina as she told the truth. She says I agree that you asked Rambu to go with Ria and then you got your ticket done. Why? Did you ask me? Grandma says I got a ticket done. Prachi did not ask me and said that mommy will feel bad. Don't know how Ria will feel. Palavi says she just says and she is manipulating you. Why don't you understand? Grandma says this Ria is manipulating all the family members. Palavi asks Grandma why don't she understand that Prachi is misguiding her. Grandma says Ria is the one misguiding all the family members. Ria asks what did I do? I didn't fall intentionally. Palavi says if Ria wanted to do something, then she would have done this with Prachi. She turns to Prachi and says if mommy G likes you, then that doesn't mean that you'll make her do all these works. Prachi says you can tell me anything, but I cannot think of making my sister fall down the stairs. I will never do this. Prachi says I was not taught to say in front of elders, but I am saying this as I am getting bad in front of my sister. She says I don't want to create my good impression in front of everyone. She says I have full trust on my sister and I believe that she has changed for better. Palavi says your tongue is working much today. Prachi says I am not answering you back but I am trying to tell you that I don't do whatever you are saying. She says you have right to scold me. I agree that I did not clean the hoy properly but if you say that I did that to make Ria fall down then that is not right. Rambro says maybe some oil thickness was left and tells Prachi that Prachi will never make Ria fall down. Prachi says that mommy can scold me, but please never say that I am a bad sister. Palavi asks if I call you a bad sister-in-law, then will it work? She says a sister might not do, 
but a sister-in-law can do. Palavi says, I am not blinded, and I am not like Mommy G that I will melt down seeing your tears. She says, I cannot trust you, and the reason is you. She says, I identify the person, if he is a trustworthy or not. Ramru says, Mom. Palavi says, not right now. She asks him not to say anything, as she is scolding a sister-in-law, who did wrong with her elder sister. Palavi says, I am scolding my bad daughter-in-law for my good daughter-in-law, and asks him not to take her side. She asks Prachi to do something, if not as a good daughter-in-law, then as a sister, and become at least a good human. She goes. Prachi tells Rhea that she can never think wrong about her. Shaina asks Rhea to rest, as she has tried to catch in some time. Rhea says that she is feeling much pain. Palavi comes back to her and scolds Rambro, saying that if his wife had fallen down, then he would have called doctor very soon. Rambro calls the doctor. Palavi and Shaina take Rhea to the room. Grandma tells Prachi that she did right by answering Palavi. This is called standing with truth and says you have told her that you cannot bear wrong accusation. She says if someone do this, then you will raise your voice against that person. Prachi says she did not want to do this. Grandma says don't let bad things happen with you and don't do bad with others. She says you have bear enough, learn to fight your war. Rambro comes there and says the doctor is on the way. Grandma says in front of Rambro that she shall fight for her husband. She asks her who is more important to you than your husband. She says if you have to choose between your husband and your sister, then whom will you choose? Grandma says their places is different and asks her to protect her husband and not just keeping fasting and praying for him. She asks her to open her eyes and see what others want and says your relationship is having a bad side of someone. She asks her to save her husband. Rambro and Prachi asks Grandma. Shaina asks Rhea, why are you smiling as you are odd? Rhea says anything for Rambro. She says, I am 100% sure that mommy will not let Prachi go with us. Shaina says, I think even you cannot go. Rhea thinks I don't need to act now. Rambro will be with you and will not leave me. Prachi comes there and asks her to drink soup. She says, I hope you don't think like mommy. The doctor comes there with Palavi and Rambro. The doctor checks and says she must be having muzzle tear also and asks her not to move her foot. She says you need to rest. Rhea says I have flight for Bangalore. Palavi says you need to rest. You cannot go. The doctor says she is right. Rhea says that she is fine and she can walk. Palavi calls Siddharth and says Rhea is not coming to Bangalore anymore. She gives the call to Rambro. Rambro talks to Siddharth and tells about Rhea's foot sprain. Siddharth says my meeting is cancelled. Rambro asks Prachi to unpack the bag. Palavi says Rambro and Prachi are going to Bangalore. Rambro asks why. Siddharth is already coming here. Palavi says you both have spent quality time too much in two years. I want you both to go, as I don't want to see her face. She says God knows what bad would happen with Rhea here if Prachi stays here. Rhea thinks that she will not let Rambro and Prachi go there and tells Palavi that we will do the work if Prachi goes from here. She says, I asked Shaina to take care of me. Prachi says, I am not going anywhere, and tells Rhea that she has to be here for Rhea. Palavi asks, do you trust her? Rhea says, yes, whatever she is saying is right. Palavi asks her to take care of her sister. Rambro thanks Rhea for taking Prachi's side. Rhea smiles. Shaina tells Rhea that it is said that whoever digs the pit for someone falls into the same pit. She says that you have spilled the oil for Prachi, and now you have fell down yourself. Rhea asks her to go to the guest room. Abby searches for his wine bottle. Pragya says, I hid the bottle in the kitchen. Grandma says, if he finds it, then he will drink. Pragya asks Sushma and Grandma to keep him busy and goes inside the room. Sushma asks if Pragya's idea will work. Grandma says her daughter is unique. Sushma says they are not normal couple. So how would the work be normal? Pragya plays the dart game and says, Boo's eyes. Abby asks, did anyone see you eating the Boo's eyes? Pragya says no, and says when you played the last, all the darts fell down. Abby asks her to play in front of him. Pragya asks, do you know about the dart game? And says if you had concentrated, then you would have eaten the bull eye. Grandma and Sushma comes there. Grandma says Abby has eaten the blue eye. She says Pragya says that Abby is not in his senses. Sushma says he did not do it. Sushma says Pragya is top in business and here too. She says I have seen her eating the bull eye. Abby says the dark game was not in Olympic, else I would have gotten a word like Niraj. Pragya says, where is Niraj and where are you? Grandma says, Abby can play better than you. Pragya says, impossible. Abby challenges her. 
Pragya says you are challenging me. He says open challenge and ask what if I win. Pragya says whatever I say you will do. Abi says you have to agree to my sayings for 20 minutes. Pragya asks him to take 24 hours. Sushma says it will be much. Pragya says he cannot win. Brahma asks Abi to defeat Pragya. Abi says he will reach the final ETC. Sushma goes to bring that. Brahma asks him to sit and massage his head and shoulder. Sushma also massages Pragya's hands. They both come in front of each other. Thank you for watching my videos. Please don't forget to subscribe and like my videos and check out my channel for other videos. Thank you.